Where's Miss Ellie? She's upstairs resting. What part will I say? Did she tell you? He said he wasn't Jock. Well, we knew that. <laughs> Did she say why he decided to come clean? Yeah, that's no secret. He knew we were closing in on him. Didn't want to do any prison time. He's just making things easier for himself. I don't think that was it. Well, we can find that out from Ellie. What I want to hear is that the rest of what Bobby's got to say. Yeah, Bobby, you were asking before about Wyatt Haynes. Now, you can't be saying he's West Parmalee. I sure am, punk. Well, he don't look anything like Haynes. No, not now. Not after he went through the same helicopter crash that Daddy did. And that's where you're wrong, Bobby. Because I know for a fact that Haynes wasn't on that chopper with Jock. That's right. He wasn't at first. But they made a stop along the way. Where? Let me start at the beginning, honey. Why don't you sit down? When I went down there, I figured I could count on two things. One, that Parmalee was an American, and two, that he'd known Daddy. Otherwise, how would he know so many things about him? So, one by one, we started to eliminate every American who was in the area at the time. I can't imagine there were very many left. Hell, that was five years ago. That's true. They'd pretty much scattered all over the world. But we kept at it, and pretty soon we had the list down to three or four men. And then finally, one man remembered something about the day Daddy left, something that nobody else had mentioned before. He remembered that Daddy's helicopter made a stop to pick up Parmalee. Well, why didn't this man mention that before? He just assumed it was something that everybody already knew. All right, so he was in the crash, but that doesn't account for the fact he knew so much about the family. What about the hunting trip? The time Daddy got shot. You remember Parmalee talking about that up at the office? He would have had to learn about that when Jock had that fever. That's right, punk. That's why I asked you outside whether Haynes was around at the time. Yeah, he was around. And your daddy did talk about that hunting trip. Huh. What about Amanda, daddy's first wife? Her too. Your daddy had a real high fever. He was ranting and raving for days about his life and family. And... You know, what really gets me, though, is no matter how much information he had about us, what made him think he could get away with it? He almost did get away with it. And you want to know why? Because almost everybody started to believe him, including a couple of people in this room. The only people who held out to the end were Bobby and Clayton and me. All I can say is thank God it's over. Is it? Well, I don't think so. Please. I want to know what he said to you. I've told you that he wasn't Jock. What else? Isn't that enough? After what he put us through? I know. It's been difficult. It has been for me, too. Well, why would he come to you, Ellie? Clayton. I'm so tired. I know you are. But don't you think that you owe me some kind of explanation? Yes, of course I do. But not now. Uh, I need a little time. It's all been so confusing. Clayton. I'll tell you. I promise. Just... Let me get my thoughts together. Please? 